Hello and welcome to CCSG's 32 channel setup. When using more than 16 channels in Hoopervision, a second site server window is needed, and there are a few things to set up. Site server requires a second network connection for channels 17 to 32. We've installed an extra PCI network card in our DVR in addition to the onboard LAN. Make sure to configure your network connection so that each network port has a unique IP address. Also, make sure that you have the necessary network ports forwarded. The default for Site Server 1 is 80, 18082, and 18083. The default for Site Server 2 is 8080, 18084, and 18085. If you are using two monitors, you will need to assign Site Server 2 to your second monitor. Close Site Server 1 and 2. Go to Start, Programs, Hoopervision, Utilities, and open Multiple View. Here you can change which monitor to use for Site Server 1 and 2. Select Live 2 and select Monitor 2. Select Player 2 and select Monitor 2. Click Apply and then open Site Server. Site Server 1 will start up in the first monitor. Then Site Server 2 will start in Monitor 2. Now that your DVR is set up, let's connect to it remotely. On another computer, insert the Hupervision CD. Go to Remote Surveillance and Tools, click on Hooper Remote, and go through the installation procedure. Once installed, run the program. We need to add sites. Expand the list view and click the plus sign. We're going to make a group first. Just type a description and leave everything else blank. Now we add our sites. Click and drag the sites into the group to copy them into the group. We can now delete the extra sites. Select one and click the minus sign. Double click on the group name to connect to all of the cameras in that group. Our demo sites only have four cameras each, so you'll only see eight cameras here.
Now let's set up dual screen with Cooper Remote. Click on the hammer icon for preferences. Check dual screen and change the program window size to 1024 by 768. You can connect up to 64 cameras on one screen and 98 cameras with dual screen. Go to preferences and change splits maximum and splits for 16 splits button to 8x8. When using dual screen it will roll back to 7x7 on each monitor. You can also drag cameras across the monitors into a new position. And that's it for our 32 channel setup.